Good morning kids. In the last class we learnt about the heavenly bodies. I hope you all did your activity in your notebook. Today we will continue from page number 4 that is the solar system. You can see the beautiful and colourful picture of the solar system. The sun is at the centre and the 8 planets move around the sun in a fixed path. This fixed path is known as the orbit. Children, do you remember the name of the galaxy in which solar system is located? Yes, it is the Milky Way galaxy. Now let's discuss about these planets in detail. The first one is Mercury. It is the smallest planet in the solar system. It is the closest to the sun. It is made up of metal and rocks. The surface of the mercury has wrinkles due to the cooling and contraction of the metal. It is one of the five planets which we can see with our naked eye. It has no moons and no rings. Now let's move to the other planet. The second planet near to the sun is Venus. It is the hottest and the brightest planet. It is also known as evening star or morning star. It is made up of heavy metal and rocks. There are no moons or rings on it. Venus is sometimes referred as the Earth's sister planet due to its similar size. Can you guess which is the third planet? Earth is the third planet. Do you know the reason why it is known as the unique planet? It is because this is the only planet in the solar system which have life on it. We live on earth. Earth is made up of land and water and it is surrounded by an atmosphere which contains oxygen and it helps us in breathing. Earth receives heat and light from the sun which supports life. Now let's see which is the fourth planet in the solar system. Mars is the fourth planet. It is the second smallest planet in the solar system. It is also known as red planet due to its reddish color. The surface of the Mars is red rocks. Mars has largest volcanoes in this solar system. It also have a thin atmosphere layer mainly composed of carbon dioxide. These four planets that is Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are known as the terrestrial planet. This is because it is made up of rocks. The fifth planet in the solar system is Jupiter. It is the largest planet in the solar system. It is made up of gases. That's why it is also known as gas giant. The interior of this planet is made up of metal, rocks and hydrogen compounds. It is one of the planet which we can see with the naked eye. It has 79 satellites that moves around the Jupiter. The sixth planet in the solar system is Saturn. It is the second largest planet in the solar system. Did you see the beautiful rings around the Saturn? This is made up of ice and dust. Because of this beautiful ring, it is also known as ringed planet. Saturn is the most distant planet which we can see with our eyes. It has around 82 satellites that move around this planet. The seventh planet in the solar system is Uranus. It is the ice giant planet and the coldest planet in the solar system. It has a sideways movement. It is not visible with our naked eye. This is the first planet which was discovered with the help of a telescope. It has 
27 satellites that moves around it. Now let's see the 8th planet. The 8th planet in the solar system is Neptune. It is dark, cold and very windy. It has 14 satellites that moves around it. Now kids, let's do an exercise. You have to pause the video, go online and find out a region of the solar system that lies beyond this orbit of Neptune. You have to note down the name in your notebook and once you are ready with the answer, play the video. Let's check the answer. The region beyond the orbit of Neptune is known as the Kuiper belt. You can see Pluto is located in the Kuiper belt. Earlier Pluto was considered to be the ninth planet. But now it is known as the Dwarf planet. Let's move to page number 6. Here we will discuss about the constellations. Constellations are the group of stars that forms a definite shape and has been given a name by the International Astronomical Union. Here in the textbook you can see two pictures of the constellation. First you can see a group of star having a definite shape. Can you guess how it looks like? Does it look like a hunter? The name of this constellation is Orion constellation or the hunter. The next picture is of Arsa major constellation or the great bear. Here itself there is an exercise. In the picture of Arsa major constellation you have to locate the picture of big dipper constellation. You can use red marker or color pencil. This is the picture of big dipper constellation. I hope you all marked it. There is an activity for you. You have to draw 12 zodiacal constellations in your notebook. You have to label it also. That's all for today. We will meet in the next class. Thank you.